Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Monkey Puzzle here, and it is time to play some more Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, I'm coming back to this. You can see right here I've got two different um, playthroughs going on. This is the one that I streamed so far. I went through... Um, you know, I don't know if these percentages are the whole game or just this level. It's got to be the whole game because, yeah, there's... I didn't only do 14% of Bogano. <laughs> anyway, um, I've gone through not all the ice caves in Zepho. That's where I left off. But I went through the tomb in Zepho. But I started the second playthrough because I felt like I really needed to work some stuff out regarding combat and such there were some things i definitely wasn't getting right and there were some button combos that just weren't working for me so let's start over here in uh, back to bogano so let's backtrack a little bit take a couple steps back and i spent some time going between the controller and the keyboard trying to figure out what would really work for me so that i could do combat in a competent way and the biggest issue I was having was with dodging. Um, there's the regular dodge and the rolling dodge. And be able to dodge right and left and forward. Oh, <laughs> and back. <laughs> and for the keyboard, it wasn't really set up well at all. They put it on Z. And so if it's on Z, how are you going to be able to dodge left and press Z, you know, press A and Z at the same time? There's no way. So I had remapped it to left control um, but still it's really hard to like double tap with your pinky while you're doing WASD finally now what has worked for me is I've put dodge on my thumb mouse button so you can see over here in uh, settings for the controls for dodge I've got it right there on my little evade they call it on my little thumb mouse button so that's pretty cool. That's working great for me now. So now I'm just so much better than I was. And then I just had to get a little practice with that. And I did consider going to controller. Now I've rarely, if ever, used controller. I've never used controller for this kind of game. And the thing that I just couldn't get to work for me is this uh, button here, the which would be your mouse, basically, the, the look toggle is just so much less precise than the mouse. And so for looking around in the game and everything, it just, now I'm really aware of that. When I look at someone's recording, I can tell if they're doing it with a mouse or uh, this toggle, because this is just so much less cinematic. It's just abrupt and bumpy the way you're looking around. That was part of it. But part of it is with all your attack buttons over here, you have to do target on your enemy, which I've never done. I've I never, <laughs> never realized that was a thing. Um, and because you got to take your finger off this in order to do all these. And I know I'm late to the game that that is a regular thing for folks, but I have a really hard time with that because I'm used to doing everything with the mouse. Now the computer is doing it for me, which is really strange for me. And I feel, it's, I know it's not cheaty because that's not how games go, but it feels kind of like that to me because it puts it on autopilot and it's not me anymore. The game is just keeping me directed that way, which maybe, you know, that's kind of how your brain would work in this kind of situation anyway. Part, certain parts of you would be on auto autopilot. I don't know. But then also just for immersion, there's a little dot in the middle of your enemy the whole time you're locked on. This is old, old news for people, but never being a console player, this was kind of new realization for me. Hi, Crazy Mom. Welcome to the stream. You're getting here right in the beginning. So anyway, I had a really hard time with that, but now I've managed to get the keyboard and mouse to work well for me. So I'm back here where Ogdo Bogdo is, and I spent a lot of time practicing on him, and now I can pretty reliably kill him. I don't... I don't get him 100% of the time, but I can get him a good percentage of the time. So we're going to do that a couple times just for my own satisfaction, because the last couple streams I put up, <laughs> I just get stomped. So now is my chance 
to do a little stomp back. And maybe help some folks too who are having a hard time with this. So let's get my lightsaber out. So I like to start right here because they don't really tell you this, but when you jump and hit, you can get an extra damage attack. They do tell you as you go down, there's gonna be an indicator of the mouse, which is pretty much how they tell you that this is a thing. So I'm gonna get into focus mode here. Let's get into it. So there it is, there's the cue. Like and right away when I do that one, I gotta get... Oops. Okay. Okay, I lost my timing already. Let me take a breather here. <laughs> That's just the uh, nervousness of being filmed while I'm doing it Help. now. So let's take my stim and we're going to get out here and do this. Now, what, another thing I noticed is last time I was cheesing this end. Oop. Okay. I was cheesing this and using that little back room. And when you lose focus on him, he heals. See, now he's healed already. So I'm going to have to do this from the start. Okay. So, what I wasn't doing before was parrying him there. When he does that little sideways mouse thing, you can parry and get about three hits in. And every time he's red, you have to jump. You just have to. Okay, this is the mouse thing, three hits, and get ready to jump right away. Get ready to jump right away. And each time, you gotta get in front of him, see what he's gonna do. If he's red, you gotta move. Okay, now's my chance, parry. Hit, 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 jump out of the way and jump out of the way and what's he gonna do oh, oh missed my timing okay so warming up here but you can see i'm already doing a lot better than i was before in this playthrough this is actually the uh the first time i've died <laughs> believe it or not oh and it's bedtime for you crazy mom all right well maybe i can Hope you go to sleep with the sound of me killing the Agdo Bagdo. <laughs> I'm getting a later start than usual today. But it's fine. So let me get this right this time. And just to show you guys I can do it. Hopefully you can see that that's already an, a huge improvement. How I was doing before. And getting that dodge bound to... A key that I can actually work with uh, is is the huge thing, and having all my attack and parry and dodge all on the mouse makes a big difference. So this time I'm not going to lose this attack advantage. You can see how I lost it last time when I jumped into that uh, little cave. So we can't go in there this time. Okay, here we go. Oh, and I did not get a little extra damage on him. Okay, gotta get the timing. If you lose the timing, it's better just to get out the way and get yourself prepared. I need a stim, but I think I can get away without it. Okay. Bump, 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 dodge. Parry. Bump, 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 dodge. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I was practicing before the stream, and I was 100%ing him. Uh, and this is just the part where I know people are watching. So, still got to suck up my pride a little bit. Yeah, we're going to get in this next time. Because I know I can. Oh, I saw your photo you uploaded, Crazy Mom. I commented right after that. You got your little... Christmas creature. Um, Don't fall behind, BD1. Yeah, I'm definitely doing better than I was. Okay, so here we're gonna. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna talk a lot less. And just uh, get this done. Oh, got that first hit on me. Okay, get out of the way. Get ready. Okay, get out the way. Get out the way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I will womp him. We'll womp him a couple times. 
this this guy is sort of a rite of passage for this game. I almost want to start the stream over and show you that I can do it from the get, but <laughs> here we go. It's it's about never missing a beat, basically. You got to get each move right, and I'm only playing on the second. Um, how do you say it? Second difficulty from the easiest, the Jedi Knight, which you know it gets a lot harder. It gets two steps harder than this. Let's see. The problem with that jump is sometimes you don't get your timing right after that. You gotta get in position again. There we go. We got him. Agdo Bagdo. Defeated. <laughs> Which last time you probably saw me 20 tries and not be able to get him. Um, we're going to move on from here. I'm actually going to continue to play through from here, even though I've done the next part already. But it's about six more hours of from the archive of me not knowing how to dodge properly. So out of respect for your time, I'm going to proceed from here as a more competent fighter. Also in the last one, Crazy Mom knows, I, in the tomb, there was one little puzzle bit, and there was one part that I missed that had me stuck for like an hour, which, you know, it's great showing the difficulty of working through things, but again, out of respect for your time, I'm uh, not going to put you through that with the things I put up to YouTube. Um, so we're going to start from here, and hopefully I'll do it a little bit more competently and a little bit more quickly. And it's only the tomb part that I've really um, done already over at Zepho. But we're going to do this one more time. Just to get a clean kill on Ogdo Bogdo. And just really been putting my th myself through the paces here. Trying to get good. Or at least get decently competent. Where we can actually pull this off. And part of how I was messing up before is when you jump down, um, it's hard to get into the timing just right, but you just have to be prepared to enter it, I think. Although when I'm doing good, I can just pretty much dodge him forever. And you gotta dodge the right direction so you don't get stuck against the wall. Okay, let's get that hidden. It looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Okay, we're off to a good start. There we go, that was a flawless kill. I didn't take a hit, so that shows you that I can do it. <laughs> Finally, it shows myself that I can do it. So with that, let's move on. And I get this guy. This was Life Essence? I was a little confused last time because I'd gotten one third Force Essence trying to before. Defend his family? But this is Life Essence, so they're two separate things you can acquire. This one we can't get yet, because we don't have the scomp link. But I do know where to get that now. Alright, so let's get on out of here. And move on with the game. Now that I've gone through the proving grounds of the Octo Bogdo. <laughs> I like that they put a guy that hard here in the beginning. It definitely is necessary to show you what you're going to have to deal with. Coming up. So I've already finished this whole planet. Whoops. 
One other thing that I should show you that helped me with this fight is in the... Oh, I have to go in here to show you. In the skill tree, which I don't have another level for right now, I went ahead and did survivability first before trying to do anything else. You have a friend who's finished the story in that game? Yeah, it's totally possible. I mean, I've heard it's like a 20-hour story or whatever, so there's definitely been enough time since it came out to finish. I had a few nights where I haven't played, so... And now I'm doing this next part over, which was about six hours of gameplay ahead of me, but it probably could take me three if I do it right. Yeah, so I went ahead and did the increasing maximum life and superior blocking straight away. And th this is also maximum force, which I didn't need to use at all for the Ogdo there. Um, it kind of gets in the way. It doesn't really help you much at all. So yeah, I definitely recommend survivability straight away. But now we got a little save after the Ogdo Bogdo, which means I can't attack him here. But I did make a copy of this save folder so I could... I think I was thinking about doing just a short little video of helping people how to do that. And then in the map, the other thing I recommend... Well, let's just show you real quick is... See, the way out of here is over here. I went to the place where you get that extra bit of... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I went to the place where you get that extra vial, um, the extra stim for BD1. So folks who are just joining me now, let me just show you where that was. I've already got it here, but I recommend before you do the Ogdo Bogdo, is definitely level up like I did with the survivability skills first. Get a little extra life, get a little bit better blocking. You gonna let me up here? And get that extra stim if you need it. Come on, game. There we go. And the extra stim you can get as soon as you have the wall running. And it is, it's actually. BD1, back over, over here. here. Let me just show you real quick where I found that. It's funny, you need the scomp link to open that thing, but uh, he opened it right away. Oh, his scomp link was damaged, right, when he was attacked by that, that sluggy creature. We're gonna have to kill these guys. We're gonna have to kill a lot of things. These guys, I haven't still quite mastered how to block them. I'm just holding off. There we go. You can carry him. Yeah. They're hard. I'm just working on finding that parry for them. There you go. Got to start a little early. Time for a stim. So down here, see that little orange box? That's where you can get a, another stim for BD1, which gets you from two to three. So I also recommend doing that before you do the Ogdo Bogdo. This I can't do because I don't have push yet or pull. And I think that, I don't know exactly how, but I think that might be the only way to get to that thing. I looked all over the place, and I don't know how to get to that right now. So, yeah, we won't waste any time on it at the moment. Let's go. I should do a uh, full rest in order to get all my stims back. I don't know if you reset when you go on the spaceship or not. I would assume you do. I don't really know for sure. Say goodbye to our buddy over there. 
What's up, man? Crazy mom. Thank you for cheering me on. I always appreciate your support and enthusiasm. Alright, so let's see, let's yeah, let's use this little meditation spot here. And we'll get the full rest on. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right. Oh, and you know, go, there was also a thing down here I didn't find in the previous stream, I think. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But you can't do anything yet with this because there's a door you have to get through. It looks like it needs push. And so that's one of the things we're going to have to come back for. Which we will do. But for now, let's go on. Zepho. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? <laughs> Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't get out of there! Get out! <laughs> that is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. That's a great droid. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. Making a list. I was his apprentice. Like that. Cordova Doesn't was seem like a very loner. good idea. That little droid and I are probably <laughs> the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the force. Those are pretty. This is Master Obi Wan yeah, cool. Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Sadness. With that list of force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Or well, you could let it get into the hands of the Inquisitors inside and they'd all get, get it, killed. We have to follow Cordova's <laughs> yeah. path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I... Cut myself off from the force. But you still want to rebuild the order. That's not really an I answer. That rebuilding the order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Yeah, you can choose to live or choose Are you to die. With us? We're in. Death mirrors Zepho. It's your choice. Wow, he's in control. All right, on. Well, hopefully, we'll learn more from Siri about. At least I know we do a little bit more. Why? Uh, what happened with her? Because that answer was kind of a non-answer. But let's use the hollow table, which we now have access to. Yeah, now you're thinking. Let's get out of here. For the first time, so we got two planets that got opened up to us. Dathomir we got from looking at that mural on the wall, and that's a bad, bad planet. I don't know if we're ready for that yet. The actual mission here is on Zepho. So let's go ahead and go to Zepho. 
and do what we got to do there and advance the mission. When this is all over, and get whatever that's progression down, you know, that Zeph love. was going to have for us. Love? We'll save you? Daphimir for a yeah, little bit. You think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're going to tell me. Let me tell you, it's the best, but a lot of work. It needs admiration, devotion, attraction, and respect. Breeze, that's actually very insightful. Yeah, well, it comes with experience. Breeze is telling Can't us about this love. Can't look steal a few hearts. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I like his confidence. I like this cockpit. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. Whee! of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. He's got some navigating skills, apparently. Flipping all those buttons and switches there. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. BD One's animation is so good. You tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself. I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. There we go. Our first view okay, of Zepho. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still Crazy getting money, a lot baby. of interference on the comms. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. I'm glad they're confident that I'll go out there and come back alive. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. I, too, Better was intrigued. Moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. And if I die, well... <laughs> you gotta find another one of me. Alrighty. So here we are on Zepho. Full disclosure again, I did do a few hours of this last time, but I'm redoing it in order to do it with a proper dodge and um, not to waste as much time as I did before. But, you know, my memory is imperfect, so I'm not going to remember everything I did in exact order either. Oh, all right then. So what was in there? All right, he got a new skin. I'm not going to spend too much time messing around with cosmetics at the moment. So Can't get that's through. locked from the other side. So those are all shortcuts. It took me a while to find some of those last time. I could have saved myself another time, uh, a lot of time. That's another way I wasted a lot of time last time. Is There was one particular path I kept dying on. And there was a shortcut I could have opened. I didn't have to repeat the whole thing each time. But... Didn't realize that till way into it. What you got? Okay, storage crate. <laughs> Good to know. I think it's that sealed. one's locked from the other side too. Oh, all right then. Something we can use? All right, I got a poncho. Cool. Yeah, and so you can see I've done a little bit uh, uh, other key rebinding as well. BD1 scanning was usually on R, but I've put the force slow there because it's just a lot easier for my, get, me to get my finger to than one, and now his scan is one. And also the drop down, I've moved to the left control. All right, so we've got some little rat guys here. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. Oop. Didn't get my dodge on there. I just 
taking the time to really practice these guys maneuvers even if it slows me down a little bit I want to I want to get good at fighting each of the different kind of creatures all right tactical guides stormtrooper they attack efficiently in large numbers lightsaber reflect shots back we know you that part me? the Empire they found Zepho if they were following the mantis we would have been swarmed already could they be looking for the tombs let's hope not just got our comms working I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. So that was Skaz. Capable of two different attacks, will bite at the prey's heels or lock them down with a leap that cannot be blocked. Okay, opportunistic off of the surrounding prey when they are locked down. All right, so I could have done a little better with those, but that's fine. I don't think we can go this Oh, we can go that way, okay. That's not moving. Lock from the other side. Don't fall behind, BD1. You're gonna post a picture of your base on Ark tomorrow, Crazy Mom? Awesome, I'd love to see it. Alright, I'm just gonna take a moment to get the- Oh, God. Get the, get the parry down on these guys. Okay, that one I can't. And I was a little too slow on the dodge again. We'll get there. You missed him! There we go, that was a proper carry. Yeah. And we got a skill point. Sweet, so next save point, we gotta learn that. So it's that way, and there's actually another way over here, too. Let's see what this is about. Creepy when it's dark. I'm amazed you got this far this quick, Crazy Mom. You've been busy. The mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Oh, cool. This is a good one. So this is the second one of those stim canister upgrades. So now we'll Ready have for four stim? stims. And there we go. So I could see someone putting out a tip guide just where to find the two stim upgrades in the first two levels. They could be missed. A little obscure and in the dark. That is important. I'm pretty sure that was all that was in here. Let me take another second look over here real quick. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, that didn't go anywhere up there, right? That was just it. It's just here to get the stem. Oh, and we can actually save some time and run back out this way. Pretty good at putting his lightsaber away just in time. Make his jump. I like Zepho, it's pretty. If in a kind of a harsh, cold way. It's stormy, makes you want to stay inside. Hang out by a fire. You've got some good help from Ur? That's great, Crazy Mom. Okay, so this, I think, is that shortcut door. So now we have this to get through here. That's great. And there's these guys. My favorite. And they're gonna handle that for me. Woohoo! Need a stem! 
On the man. All right, and actually haven't seen a uh, meditation spot for a minute. And there hasn't been one so far of the places we've seen. Okay. Looks like there's only one way for us to go from here, too. We got a skill point. I want to use it. Let's go, BD1. Okay. Abandoned village. It's a very cool looking village, too. So we're gonna have a little fight as soon as we get over here. Moving to engage! Get the Jedi! Don't pay for that! Stop playing games, Jedi! Go. We got this guy coming. Let's deal with him. Okay, dodge me. I parried too quick. It still worked out. We got some range guys up there. This is just a place to get the lay of the land. Yeah, so we got that guy there. That guy there. Oh, a bunch of guys down there. Alright. Handle these dudes. The range guys first. This won't end well. Can't top my skill. Well, that means I won't have much to fear then. <laughs> fear as good as they get. Oh, something here. It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. What does it say? Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot. In accordance with Imperial Code, no selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. So, it's the Empire made everybody leave. Trying to read what you wrote there, crazy mom. Miss Glit. Only one animal from one of the other maps. Gate. The one who gives the crystals. Are you talking about here in Star Wars? I'll get you. <laughs> I love how they do the subtitles for BD1. That's... Okay, no. I hit him! Don't let him get you. Feeling hurt? Target is killed. Just taking it slow still, trying to... Uh, huh? Get their patterns down for the... The parry. I don't need to dodge these guys, because they don't have a red attack. Oh, thank you, BD1. Good job. Oh, you're talking about the gotchas, aren't you? What have we got here? taking us the empires forced the villagers from their homes frightened refugees shipped off to work camps or worse that sucks all right so this is red this looks like it will require some force push to get through i've had force push uh once now but, like I said, we're redoing this part. 
so we don't have it yet. But I know it exists. And I actually know where to get it. Hey, you there! Watch yourself! Hey now. Something was in there. New outfit. Sweet. This new outfit material. Actually. Is this something? Yep, this is something. Aha, save point. So if I rest here, all those stormtroopers will respawn. So maybe I won't rest quite yet, but let's go ahead and do the skill tree. And figure out what we want next. So we have two different things available. We can do a dash strike and we can get uh, our slow better. So holding slow allows Cal to slow his target for a longer duration. Let's uh, view this one. That's not bad. Bam. And then let's view this one. Both of those are cool. I'm going with um, cautious survivability to start with on this one. So let's get the greater slow. I think in the end you'll get all of these. But I'm not sure. Okay, so we got to save. And we got our skill point. We didn't rest. Okay, this is inside that warehouse. So now we have another shortcut. This is great. It keeps opening the shortcuts for us. So we won't have to go back through everything we just did. And then once we get past the village, next meditation point, we get all rest. Okay. We've got some dudes up there. What do we do if we run into a Jotash? Well, you cover me, and I'll run. Why should I cover you? Someone should survive. Might as well be me. <laughs> it can't be that logic. Chest. Come back here. What's that, baby one? New lightsaber sleeve. Okay, we got a dude here. I, I see you. Miss that window to um. Get that little jump attack on him. I'm not sure what that takes. Or, or exactly how I missed it, but whatever. And this needs the scomp link. I'm curious what's in the scomp link ones. So this is all where that goes, so that's not that big of a deal. We don't miss a lot from that. Pretty epic views here, though. I really think they did a good job with the art direction on here. Aha, here we go. Here is a save. And this is the point where I came back to about a dozen times the <laughs> last playthrough. So let's see if I do any better. So at this point, since we've left that village behind, we can go ahead and get that rest in. So now we have all four of our stim canisters. We're at full health. Now we go into another spooky dark place. Let's 
see what's over here. We got a little wall run we gotta do. In the dark. A little sketchy. Tell me what? That would be... No. I assume that would be one of his journeys. No. Here we go. My friend, I recently discovered that Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange for such a culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. There's more to be discovered on Dathomir. So we'll get there. Sure, but I want to get ready. I've heard Dathomir. It's hard. Okay, this is locked from the other side. This is the shortcut that I missed last time that would have saved me a lot of grief. And one of the reasons why I'm redoing it this time. It's dark and scary. Oh, God. <laughs> Watch that step there. a little bit of a flashlight from BD1. But not much of one. We got a nice chest over there. Ooh. Oh, okay. What's that, BD1? Alright, new lightsaber material. We got copper. I like the uh, lightsaber out as a as a flashlight. That's pretty cool. Giant plasma thing, light your way. But you can't you can't sprint when you have it out. Oh, good. turn the lights on. Much better. Okay, and so now we're back out to the path that was I had a hard time on last time. Let's see how much better I do this time. I'm gonna give a second for this um what are these little creatures called? They come out of those holes right there. Sometimes they'll What's jump up. Attack the stormtrooper for you, but not this time. And we know there's going to be another one right there. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Right, Got to get that in a better position. Right there. That's good enough. Point. And then let's just wait for it to reset. Mm. Alright, now that these guys like a problem. kicked my butt last time. Alright, not this time. Sweet. Another one? 
Being able to dodge makes a world of difference. When I remember to do it. <laughs> Find something? Philak. So, Philax. When provoked, Philax low vision makes it difficult to change course, often crashing into rocks when charging. Philak hooves adapted to keep them steady in mountain passes, making them resistant to the push and pull of Zephos high winds. I also found later on they're resistant to the push and pull of me. So, you know, Skaz was the name I was trying to remember. All right, we're doing way better, but let's not get too confident. Okay, this part is tricky. I'm hungry. It's reducing the quality of my posture and aim. Doesn't surprise me. There, up there. He's gonna wipe us I out. Let me get that guy out. It's these guys. I knew he would run. These rocket launcher guys. You can't BD1. parry that. You can't block it. So what I did. Wink. Forget about all those guys at first. Oh, we'll be this right guy behind you. Gonna knock you out. Get up here. Get him out. Luckily, they're very squishy. Stim, here. And then we got a bunch of guys here. So what we're gonna do? Get him. All right, again. Okay, I'm done. He's too quick. Step back, I've got this. Too soon. The target's hurt. Finish this. Okay. Stim, Hurry. Stim. Get, get the Jedi. Don't just stand there. Do something. Okay. okay. Not the most graceful. Hey, BD1. But we're still alive. Not all that counts. All right, this doesn't do anything. I spent a long time last time figuring out whether or not you could parry that rocket launcher guy, and it wasted a lot of time. I did that too, just a little too soon. You can see here, looking ahead. Well, one is this great frozen landscape. But we got a lot of environmental challenges to deal with as we come along here. It's kinetic platforming. Ooh, that might be too low. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, these don't make you go all the way back. Oh, God. Maybe too low? Yeah. yeah. That's scary fall a little bit like that. Just a scooch. <laughs> Not too bad. Too low. There we go. Do that. Too high. Too high. Oh! <laughs> okay. Woo! Dong! Made it here. Ooh. Whoa. That's gotta be one of the Zepho. Great big Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? BD boop! He forgot his lines there. Okay, so we got some stormy troopers. Hello, guys. What's up, Raleigh? Above. He's hard to track. I'm redoing this part because uh, I wasted a lot of time last time. I didn't know how to dodge properly, but I've remapped the keyboard to do that now. Um, they don't really... They didn't have very good keybinds at all uh, for that. And then also last time, I didn't open this door properly. And 
every time I died, I had to run all the way around again. So now we've got that shortcut open. This is in that cave. We got entered from the other side. And I also, on that vault puzzle that we'll get to, I missed the third ball. I spent hours looking for it. So <laughs> yeah, out of respect for people's time, I'm redoing this. Hopefully a little bit better this time. Yeah, you know, the thing I don't like about the controller, of course, this is new news to me, but old news to everybody else, is how the, um, the target toggle, the, uh, you know, the look toggle, one, I hate how imprecise it is. You can't just do nice little cinematic looks. It's always like... Mm, 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 mm. That, but also that you have to use the target lock to, f to fight things. Yeah, so this is much better for the episodic content. Folks who watched my stream got to watch me struggle the real, <laughs> the real time last time. Um, but yeah, for the episodes, I didn't want to have six or 12 episodes taking way too long. But also, um, I don't like the, having to use the target lock on a controller. I just, it takes the control away from me. You don't target lock? It's tough though, because you gotta take your thumb off of the toggle to fight, right? So that seems tricky to me. Woo, you ball. missed me, you missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. Yo, so you could just keep running here and leave this guy behind, but might as well go get him. Hi. Too slow. Yeah, I respect that you don't use it. And then the immersion thing when they... Who's shooting at me? Oh, that guy over there. Okay. When you've got that little circle in the middle of your guy. I don't care for that either. But yeah, if you don't target lock, then you don't have that. I wouldn't mind a save about now. Yeah, that little circle is annoying. But now that I'm aware of that, I'm so far behind the times. When I'm seeing other people using controller, I'm always seeing that little circle now. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, there's the target lock. Okay, let's get over here, away from the stormtroopers. Where'd the other one go? Where'd he go? Cheater? We almost died there. Oh, and I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. This is not good. No way I'm gonna get through all those troopers without a hit. Dang it. All right, we may have to do this with one restart. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And here it's tricky because you get these range guys and the shock combat troops at the same time. I wish they'd just shoot at me now. Come on, guys. I know there's a save point right up over there. Hold block and run. <laughs> Come on, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's get him over here. Away from the range, guys. He's down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Are you sure he's dead? Well, at least we got the shortcut now. Oh, for real though, what you miss with the range guys that you're trying to deflect them all? If you just hold up, it, it, it gets them, but it probably just doesn't kill them, right? I didn't realize you could just hold up. Hold up the block. That's really good to know. 
All right, so yeah. We're back here now, but instead of having to run the whole thing, and do this, yeah. Deflect the first, then hold for reload. Oh, deflect the next. Hold back for the next reload. Okay. Repeat as needed. Thank Look you, Master out, Jedi. Woo! Uh, I got These guys you. are back. <laughs> Hurry, it. Ah. Oh, God. What's that? Watch yourselves. Open fire. Watch yourselves. Watch yourselves. Did we lost the scan? Find oh, something? Commander. Okay. I know I wasn't following your advice there. Probably shouldn't bother with this guy. Just in case he wants to shoot at me later. Hi! So we're in much better shape now. We've actually got some stims. Speaking of... Need a stim? Nice assist. Oh. Dodge just a little too late. He's gone. All right, now we can deal with these guys more properly. Hello. Huh, an intruder. I copy you. That's one down. Okay, this guy's got my XP. Got that back. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. 